How are you doing Ralph here, Ralph with Customs? Right, quick vlog, and it is just little clips of the bits and bobs that I've been doing. Uh, this virus has put me on my arse, I've not had the dreaded Rona, or well, not tested positive, but those around me have, who knows. I feel well over the worst, so hopefully this week I'll have some more content, some more involved content, but in the meantime, enjoy a few clips, yeah? See you soon, lots of love. This is part of me roughing out the headlamp bracket that I'm making for my Triumph. Yeehaw, bless it. Um, I'm not going to do a, a detailed video uh, on it. In fact, I'm not going to do a detailed video on fuck all until I get my head fucking out my arse with this. Uh, maybe my Corona. <laughs> oh, my little pretty one. Or whatever I've fucking got. So I'm concentrating on getting the job done. Uh, which is taking every fucking ounce of what I've got, I don't mind telling you. Uh, I'm going to potter about and make this, and then I'm going to fuck off home. Drink rum, light a fire, have a bath, do all of the things that we do when we're convalescing. Uh, I'm starting on this fucking sissy bar for our dads. I've marked it out and worked it out the best I can, but I don't come in, because I'm, like I say, I'm fucking ends up my own. This is why I've got mocked out angle of the dangle there, see if it matches up when we get on to actually fucking doing it. <laughs> Alright, take five. Well, take two for you, but we've aborted the fucking aluminium, aluminium, It's just, uh, the, yeah, there you go. And we're going for a nice basic bit of stainless from my dad, from these, these fucking crazy bits that someone's going to make a ball bar out of. Um, for him and he's donated them to me. Came out of a fucking nuclear power plant, believe it or not. So it's a nice bit of stainless. We used it for the for forward mounting plate to fetch me a clock tremble. That is much, <coughs> much better. And now we have it, look. You know, all its glory. Dinky winky teeny little head lamp on a nice bracket. I might, I'm tempted. I might get a fly cutter on it and put a smile. Well, that'd be a sad face, wouldn't it? So, I'm not sure. Um, what I've ended up doing was I couldn't bend it because it's fucking 10 mil thick, fucking marine grade stainless. Um, so, I cut it with the slitting saw, not all the way through. And not with a slitting saw, with a cut off saw like in the angle grinder, uh, and ticked it up. So, happy days. It sits over the, uh, there's a normally for a splitter, so it sits over the, the yoke casting bits for the front brake splitter that we don't use. And these are recessed a little bit, and fucking hell, that will fucking, you could tow the bike with that fucker. Also, worth noting is the expansion tank. Um, having gone to my go-to and taken advice, th thanks a lot Wayne, it, because it's pressurised you can mount it anywhere, it don't matter, it'll bend and it'll draw and it'll suck and it'll blow and it, everything's cool, you just want it somewhere where it uh, ain't going to get fucked up with anything and close to the engine is not a bad place to be. I've made a really lovely alley bracket that you can't see and that follows the shape of this centre post and follows the shape of the bottle. Um, let me try and get in there to show you how it looks in there, uh, up there, look. And that holds it all. Uh, I might weld it to the tank. I might put a bolt through into the, this, into the centre post. I might put an M6 locator in there or something. Or I might just fucking leave it. 
There we go, pot pickers. <clears throat> now we just need to try and work out where I'm going to mount my fucking electronic or speedo. <laughs> And here we've got it mocked up, I've marked it out on the bench. The width that it needs to be at the bottom and the length it needs to be. And we've uh, bent and we've chopped and we've sanded and smoothed. And we're going to tack it up. We're going to employ the putting a, a bit of box section across one end method. We may use the paper weight, I'll call it. It's not, it's an iron weight. We may use that as well, not sure yet. But there we go. Righto, so there she blows, Captain. Um, I might put a, a something in, don't know. It's fucking strong and ever, for fuck's sake. It is really ever. It's, it's a lot of your duty than I normally do. Um, something to do, Dad said, with Sue's fat ass, but I don't quite understand what he's on about there. Keeping on the theme of extra sturdy, if you like, we're making some threaded brackets for the frame. We normally use these sort of things. Look, it's quarter thick, so. We're doubling up and we're going a bit narrower so it suits the bosses better, which is lovely. They'll sit really well and could hold a fucking elephant. There we go, focus. Yeah. So they're weld onto the frame and bolt through. <coughs> These are actually the size of an M10 cap head, so the, the bolt won't look like that if Daz uses his noodle light and gets some nice fasteners. They'll just be smooth with this. So, happy days. There it is in situ. I'm just making the top mount. So let me bring you back. On lathe. On to lathe. I've cut a chunk of this. Face the ends up. As you've seen me do countless times. And I'm just uh, going in with a centre drill. One-handed looking through the camera. So, it's going to be steady. We'll take that out to 10 more clearance. There we go, the trials and tribulations. Sissy bar on. Um, I've got to tilt the top back and I've got to decide whether I'm going to put a bit of something in. I'll try and show you better. Just above the, the mudguard where the seats have come to, like three or four inches up. Apart from that, that's done, apart from the bend and the bit I might have to put in, so it's half done. That's as good as I've got today. Another quick one. Um, if I turn the fucking wireless right down, copyright strikes and all that. We've mounted the digital, it's not digital, it's electronic. It's, I don't know if you can see it, I'm too short to ask to fucking... There we go, look. Mounted speedo, haven't we? And we've set it in. I nearly dropped a right fucking bollock with this. I was going to do a slot for the wires, for the controls. There's two switches on the handlebars and the wires are going to come out here when I've drilled the hole in the handlebars. Um, I was going to put a, an hole in the yoke, in the yoke here. Well, that would have fucked that right up. We had to be a uh, mean speedo, wasn't it? Yeah, there you go. Now I've got to make a fucking stainless washer. I've got a sparkling new stainless steel top knot for the steering stem, but uh, I can't even find this shitty old fucking washer. This was rotten as fuck, rusty to fucking chroma gone and everything. <laughs> There you go, steam it. 
Shamokin. And there she blows, Captain. Fresh off the fucking lathe. Or lathe, depending on yeah, where you're from. Let's try and screw this on. Okay, there we go. Brand new stainless, not brand new stainless and wash here. Let's just get that kind of down right. Stop the fucking not marring on me. Top yoke, all right. Blood, sweat, and tears, top yoke. Like so. So that with the speedo, the handlebars, I've got to put the switches, uh, I've got to sort the of switch gear out. The, the original switch gear is for seven, eight bars, and uh, I'm going to pull a trick and machine them out to take inch bars. I know they'll work, they should look cool when I've cleaned them up. I don't know how well this will fucking this will pick it up, but it's like fucking up with Mary Poppins to come fucking fly the bike. Right. So we've done the uh, Priscilla, Road Queen, Queen of the Desert. We've done the other forward control. That's both of those now. We've done. Um, we've had our sew in this morning. So we know what we're doing with regard to the rear foot peg brackets and we can get the side mount on. And the yokes should be uh, with us any day now. So we can get the front end built up. Can't we? Get that in, get the steering stops on. Sorted. So that's going really, really well. If you follow the series, then uh, you'll know what we've been up to and if you don't go and follow the fucker ain't it <laughs>